guys. So, Rex on, and as you know, I get frustrated and I get really bad at filming it, so my bad. Pretty easy, it's just 12 holes that broke my heart. And I wasn't supposed to go this deep, but I'm kind of glad I did because I want to put longer boats because I don't know if you guys know where rubber swell nuts are, but I don't trust them. I mean, it, it, it's holding on good, but still, I don't trust them. So I want to put some longer boats, a washer, and a nice airplane nut to keep it nice and secure. But yeah, it's on. Uh, the only problem I had was one of the swell nuts uh, burst. Yeah, so it ripped and then it wasn't holding down, so I had to put a longer bolt through it with the washer and a, and a nut, and I actually liked the way that's holding better. But yeah, it's on. Uh, I had to kind of adjust some of the brackets because they're adjustable, so that way it goes with the contour of the roof. But so far I like it. I'm not hearing any noises, no rattle, no nothing. Uh, the instruction said to dry for about a month and then retighten everything, drive for another month and then retighten everything and then everything should be good. And I want to say the second time I retighten, I'm going to replace those bolts. That way it's nice and secure and I have some peace of mind. Right now it's not going anywhere, like I trust it. And then I put some RVT silicone just to make sure that that shit's watertight. So from the drilling, I dropped a bunch of fiberglass in here. So I'm on my way to the car wash right now, I'm gonna vacuum it all out. That way the girls don't get all itchy and annoyed. But yeah, that's where I'm headed right now. Um, again, sorry I didn't really film it. I'll get some B-roll right now of it, of me showing you around it and how I installed it. And I'll show you the one that I messed up and I had to replace. But yeah, right now I'm on my way to vacuum. I don't know if you guys want to see that, but I'm going to show you. You can fast forward if you don't like it. But yeah, overall I'm fucking happy. Like I'm super happy. I was kind of scared because I keep on hearing mixed signals about Smith, uh, Smitty Build's fucking instructions. But I know like 12 holes, swan nuts, and a bolt. You can't really fuck it up. I mean, you can because I did one, but it's kind of hard to fuck it up. But yeah. Um... Thank you for watching, subscribe, like, I appreciate all the comments, let me know what you guys want to see, um, probably next weekend, yeah, next weekend we'll get out somewhere and I don't know, do something, do some off-roading, I want to take this on the trail and see how it, how it does with some trail abuse, see if it starts squeaking or anything, or anything. but yeah, thank you for watching, like, subscribe, Peace out.
So as you can see I went too deep but I'm kind of glad I did because that way eventually I want to put longer bolts through washer nut bam done I mean I trust these swell nuts but I don't know like I don't I understand how they work and they swell up and hold but I don't know I like the other way better this is the one I broke over here on this side so I kind of like this better it's silicone all the way around washer nut bolt safe so eventually they're all gonna be like that I don't think it looks too bad and if, it, if you don't like it too bad it's mine so and it gives me places to like mount stuff like and I can put like a little hook here and hang my jacket my suit my hat you know fancy like that Why? What fucking jackass puts it down there? Jesus Christ, I'm gonna suck tomorrow. Get out of my car! Get out of my car! Hey Lily, you want this car? Yeah. You want it? Okay, you can have it. Mine. Yeah, but you need a new alternator. And then I need to borrow it for work. Alright? Cool, thanks. <laughs>